Hello, everyone. My name is Kim. I am the Children and Young Adult Consultant with the Connecticut State Library. I am here from our pop and pod, um, having a conversation with Cindy from the Norwalk Public Library about a local indie author celebration that y'all have been doing for a handful of years now. That sounds really awesome. Um, so I'm all ears, and I might be willing to brave 15 myself to go down there and, and see it, because from what I've heard, it sounds awesome. Hi, Kim. Good morning. Yeah, thank you for the opportunity to share a programming initiative that I'm so passionate about with the Connecticut Library community. Um, I was hired here at Norwalk Public Library back in 2012 by the then director, executive director, Christine Bradley. And she hired me to help bring adult library programming to Norwalk with a new infusion of creativity. So it was, it was a really exciting prospect for me as a lifelong Norwalk resident to return home to my hometown library. My first library job was in high school at the South Norwalk Library shelving books. So that really paved my way for my career path. So we developed an aggressive series of author programs at that point. And um, we called them Author Speak. We encouraged the community of readers to attend these talks. We provided lunch, refreshments, and we offered authors the chance to sell their books, share their subjects, their stories, and their experiences. And we began to host four to five a month. I'd reach out to the authors and publishers via their websites, and it led to meeting them at other places, at conferences, and at, of course, the librarian's favorite annual event, Book Expo, which was at the Javits Center in New York, and of course, by word of mouth. And so um, by 2017, in 2017, I first became aware of Indie Author Day. And Indie Author Day began in 2016 as a way to highlight and draw attention to authors and the books that they published in a traditional way. It was to give the authors a, a day for education, for networking, workshops, and for libraries to honor and celebrate their local and independent authors, as well as, as to provide our patrons with access to some new and exciting library voices and to foster a partnership between libraries and writers. At the same time, the Norwalk Public Library began a writing, local writing group. And um, today we have two active writing groups here at the library. And we can really boast now that we have um, authors who have subsequently published books that they began with our classes. Yeah, we're excited about that. So we decided that our indie author celebration would include local, local, and by local, we wanted to expand it and say, we would be local authors, all Connecticut writers, we consider local. After all, Connecticut is you know, a small state and most cities and towns are easily accessible. So we embraced authors who had self-published. We also embraced authors who um, had published with small presses, those that had experience with big publishing houses or hybrid publishers. We welcomed authors of books for adults, teens, children in all genre and subject category. In 2017, we had 40 authors here at the Norwalk Public Library. We set up tables around the library we had a small area set aside for book readings. We had rooms for small meetings hosted by some of the small publishers from Connecticut. And we had a wonderful one day event at that time filled with goodwill, networking, refreshments and raffles. So every year since our annual event grew and then COVID-19 hit. And we shut down as everyone did in March of, of 2020 but it didn't stop us. We began um, to host some author speak programs and lectures on Zoom in beginning in July of 2020. By November 7th, which was the um, National Indie Author Day, we decided to take, boldly take our, our day in a new direction. So we went virtual and we um, presented, we had uh, 30 authors interested and we presented them on group panels. Um, and had two small publishers addressing our audiences as, as well on Zoom. And we put together an Indie Author Day booklet, including information about each author and about each book. And copies of our author's books now are all available, I, I wanna say, in the library collection. We also um, provided information about press books, about Self-E and the Indie Author Project, which began as a partnership between Library Journal and Biblioboard. 
Again, books were available for purchase and the library, we acted as an intermediary. We obtained the books, patrons then would pick them up through sidewalk service and purchase them. Raffles were um, entered and uh, friendship, friendships were nurtured. Then in 2021, we expanded our vision and we decided we could again have some, some sort of um, event in the library. So what we did is we had our Indie Author Day grow to three days and we connected authors, libraries and readers by offering hybrid virtual panel discussions and authors here present in the library that were comfortable coming into the library. We wanted to make sure that they were comfortable. We set up tables for them. We had, that's why we spread it out to several days so that we could have, we didn't have too many authors at any given time, but we had them here to sell books, to sign them and interact with each other. And then of course we had the panels on Zoom. We had 53 authors last year and we, um, we introduced to the writing and reading community. And then we again added their books to our collection. We created our local author's corner, which is now housed near the Blue Teapot Cafe in the library. And, um, and this year, I'm really excited because this year we have currently have 70 authors signed up to participate. And I continue to get requests whether um, we still have uh, time to sign up and I'm, we're accepting them. We've, what we're doing is we've expanded it to, um, we have two days, we have Friday and Saturday, November 4th and 5th. And then on November 6th, um, we plan to have an event here in the library, an author event that we're in the process of, of finalizing. So I can't name the author yet, but um, we're arranging panel discussions to be in person in the auditorium tables throughout the library for readers and authors to meet, for books to be purchased and signed, and of course, again, to cultivate these relationships between people and with books. And one of the things we found that, and the authors have told me over the years, that they have met other authors of their same genre or different genre, but they've met them here at the library. They've formed friendships. They share all kinds of valuable information all year long. And so that we found that that's really rewarding. Um, children's authors are gonna be reading their books in the children's room during designated time. And, you know, I find that the writing community is so supportive of one another and they share their experiences, both good and bad. Uh, what we do is we're, we will provide a continental breakfast and late lunch for authors. And we set up an area where they can chat, relax and share their publishing stories as well. And we distribute the author booklets. These are, I don't know if you can see them, but these are booklets that we've done in the past. And um, what we do is we distribute them prior to the event, during the event, and then all year round, we have them available at the, at the, um, at the local author's corner so that when people come into the library, when they're browsing and looking for books and they want to find out more about the author or what else they've written, they can look through the booklet. We, um, and several of the books have now been incorporated into our um, library book discussion group because some local authors, their books are read and they have book discussions. We have some. Some of our book discussions here are focused on books that are written by Connecticut writers. Um, authors also, either pr prior, many of them have been here for author speak programs. And following, we often follow up and have a, an individual author speak program for the author. The We hand out a swag bag for each author. We have a personalized gift inside. It's always been something with their book jacket printed onto it. One year we had coasters, which library staff made with the author's cover. And uh, we've had note paper designed and printed by the library staff. And we've had bookmarks, we've had postcards. So we, try, we really wanna extend a personal message of thanks to each and every author that participates. One of our authors, Barbara Ann King, was the 2021 um, Connecticut Author Project winner for adult fiction with her novel, The Apple King. And she's participated in our events for, for several years now. This year, our, our roster, it includes 
as I said, we have a lot of children's. We have 15 authors of children's books from preschool picture books through middle grade, um, three or 14 novelists. We have adult fiction. We have mystery, romance, short stories, science fiction, fantasy, and horror. We have adult nonfiction. We have history, true crime, self-help, faith-based, sports, business, memoir, and biography. And we have at least 12 poets on board. We have the poet laureates from several Connecticut towns. The library, which is funded by the city of Norwalk is responsible for funding the event. We partner with local organizations though in order to pu publicize the event. Um, donations of books to the library by our authors for the raffles also is a major, major part of it. The Indie Author Project is amazingly supportive by providing promotional material on their website and also instructional videos that libraries can post on their websites and can offer in the library to new writers, to share with new writers. By offering this forum for our local authors, we hope in some way that the Norwalk Public Library can contribute in the process of quality publishing. Libraries offer so many services, a multitude of services and collections. We know we're an essential service to our towns and cities. And with the shutdown we all experienced with COVID and the appreciation we received when we slowly opened to providing information remotely, offering virtual services and sidewalk services for materials, we really recognize the importance of our role as a social necessity for people in our community. As a friend of mine who is a librarian, a retired librarian once said, it doesn't matter what year it is, if you woke someone from a sound sleep and asked them what the word library represented, the first word that would come to their mind and they would inevitably say is books. And I think it's really a, a central duty for all of us in libraries to support authors and books and reading. And so we're really pleased that we can do this every year. And, and so I'm, I am overjoyed that we have um, had such support throughout with the media, with authors. And so we're really hoping that this year's will lead to something even bigger and better and that other libraries will do this as well. I've noticed, one of the things that I've noticed is that there are a lot of uh, local author events now in libraries all across Connecticut. Now, I know we're fortunate because we do have a huge community of writers. Yeah, this is this is so great. I I feel like I have. First of all, I feel like I want to go. Like again, I, awesome. <laughs> tra I know tra travel in that in that area with that New York traffic is not my favorite thing to do. But like one carefully selected <laughs> podcast, and like it might work out just fine. Um, so this year you said it's three days. Now is it like a hybrid of that, or is the is it three days in the library? In the library. Year? Well, it's in the it's, it's in the library. Yes. Okay. Oh my gosh, that's so great. So I know a little bit about Norwalk just because I worked in Stanford at one point. So, you know, just sort of that, um, that like area down there, you know, a lot of folks kind of know what's going on with, with other libraries. Um, how many people on staff does it take to do something like this? I mean, this sounds magnanimous between, you know, reaching out to the authors and the publishers and getting the books in and organizing the panels and, and tables like are you doing this by yourself or are you just kind of like a library superwoman making it happen <laughs> no, or is there like a team I'm doing I'm doing a lot of the reaching out mm -hmm. I do a lot of that I have because this is our sixth year I have a list of authors and, and I have contacts and because I've been doing I've been doing author programs for for many years both here and my previous um, position at the New Canaan Library so I've, I've had contacts with authors. So a lot of that initial contact I do. And, um, but I, I do have a great reference staff here at the library. We have, um, we have one staff member who is, does amazing work with graphics and she does all of the flyers. She puts together the booklets. And we, I also have several that will be here the day of the event. I have um, one staff member who I have to say is our 
great organizer. She keeps me on track. I mean, I can go <laughs> off the deep end with ideas. Yeah. And she'll say, do we have time to do this? Do we have time to do this? And she, and you know, we're, as we're ordering, we have bags that we fill and the, uh, for the authors. And of course, you know, we've gone from 40 authors to 70. So do, do we have enough bags? And, if, and they're canvas bags with, with the library logo and all of that. So I had to order them. So she made sure that I ordered them early enough so we didn't have to worry about them. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, we have um, pens that we, we have printed too. And I did that back. I did that back in June, I think, there July. You go. Yeah, yeah. So, so, okay, so it sounds like there's like a nice team, sort of group of what, like three or four of you that it takes to yes. pull this, pull this yes. together. That's not bad. I mean, for something that's that's this big, I'm, I'm thinking about, as you probably know, there are libraries of all sizes and shapes across Connecticut. We are a small but densely packed state with libraries. So I'm, I'm thinking, you know, while Norwalk is a you know, sort of like a bigger library, a bigger staff compared to, you know, some of the folks in the quiet corner. It seems like it doesn't take a ton of people. It just takes organization and like and sort of like planning out in advance, right? Like if you're starting in June with your ordering for an event that's in November, that is that sort of correct? You know, it just that's takes correct. Mm -hmm, that, mm -hmm. That's correct. And then of course, um, you know, arranging the different the displays and all that upstairs with the author books and um, the raffles and and it's all it's all accomplished pretty much by the reference department. And then the days of the events, of course, everyone's involved is working. Yes, yeah, of course, of course, like meeting people. I, I can't forget our building services team. Oh, they where, where would any table. of us? Be? <laughs> they set up our tables and they do all the heavy lifting, and that's amazing. <laughs> Yeah. So do you, um, is this, you know, I, I don't, I, I know that you're buying like books and bags and things like that. So the, the budget sort of like the, the price for this is that, are you sponsored, like bringing in sort of local sponsors to help cover that? Or is that something that you guys are able to do a hundred percent on your own? We do it pretty much on our own. We have, have had, um, some sponsors during the various years, for some of the refreshments and things like that. And also we do put out a, um, we put out a love your library bucket where people can donate. Donate, that's so nice. And I mean, it's six years in, people must be pretty familiar with the program and, and you know, they know what it is that they're getting. So I imagine that there are folks that'd be willing to donate like that. Oh yeah, there are definitely, yes. So with regards to the public, I mean, you. You wouldn't be, you wouldn't still be doing this if people weren't enjoying it. But so what is the, um, what's like the public, the public's response like and, and, and the attendance? Like, do you get a lot of community members in we, Norwalk and maybe surrounding towns coming to the events? We do. We get, well, well, first thing, every author has their own, their own constituency, their own friends and family. Fair. And of course they come and they, support all the authors because they, uh, they're they intrigued by what the other writers are writing as well. I think as it started out in October, now it's in November, as we get closer, as, as they move it into no November this year is November of 5th and 6th. Mm -hmm. And so, um, 4th and 5th. I, I'm really, I'm losing it. <laughs> but, okay. What is time? I'm not sure what day right? it is. But in November, people are, are conscious of, of buying gifts for the holidays. So it's always a good, it's always a good thing. And then we have our annual book sale scheduled in October um, mm -hmm. for the Friends of the Library. And of course, we haven't done it in two years. So this year, we really have you know, had a lot of people interested in that. And so people that are readers and book lovers, the two can join one events the last two weeks of October and the next events the first week of November. So it, it, we have a lot of interest and we, we do get a good, good traffic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. We have banners on our, our fence in front of the library right now, book sale in the local author celebration. So yeah, yeah. Um, so at, at this point, are these, because it, it, the authors seem to grow every year, so are they kind of calling you at this point because they know that this is something that happens every year, or is this mostly sort of the contacts that you've built from, like, Book Expo, Mishi Recipes, no, they're, they're not like beginning to, Yes, they're beginning to call us, 
they yeah. um and they have their connections as well mm -hmm. um and so that's been really helpful and some of the other libraries in connecticut that have events we've shared author names mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what's your favorite part of the of the whole kitten caboodle like the whole shebang what's your favorite part of it I think my favorite part is to hear back from the authors and to get their, you know, their comments and their um, appreciation of the fact that we're doing this and for them to share with us that they really found out something that was valuable to them from another author, you know, it's, it's all well and good. They're happy that they sell their books, but it's more important to them to really communicate with each other and and because they enjoy it so much and as so many authors say they always tell us that writing is such a solitary pursuit yeah that an event like this where there are people all around them and they can chat and and share information it's always and i think that's just to to hear that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. well that's a library for you you know the community hub the neighborhood living exactly. room so exactly. I mean it sounds like y'all are personifying everything that we constantly try to explain to folks that we are um community equalizers you know like the bringer bringer togethers of the of the area so that's awesome and one of the things I always wanted to create and I think we have with our author speak programs is a literary salon in some ways Mm, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, and and it seems like you you are you have a lot in place between like the authors and your writing programs and local book clubs. And I mean, like you are almost there anyway. And now it seems like you know, like everything is kind of merged together nicely. So that's awesome. It, it really is. It's it's really a fun project. We love it. Awesome. Well, I mean, I might be there. We'll see how I'm feeling oh. that weekend about the drive, but like I might, I might power through because I'm always looking for new authors to, to read and, and fall in love with. So what are those dates one more time? It is November 4th and 5th. And then on Saturday, Sunday the 6th, we have a, a finale program that I will be announcing shortly. Great. Great. Thank you so much. Well, uh, I probably won't be the only librarian face that you see there, um, but thank you for sharing. And this this sounds amazing. And I'm shocked that I'm this is I just didn't know. I just didn't know. Shame on me. Um, but I will probably keep you know late October, early November open on my calendar to kind of track this going forward. So thank you for taking the time to talk to us this morning and and tell us about this this program that you nurtured and grew and. Congratulations, because this it sounds like a great feat. Thank you.